On 8th March, people around the world will come together to celebrate achievements of women. The annual International Women's Day is considered a time to take stock and reflect on the progress made by women from all nations, as well as to call for change and remember the acts of courage and determination by ordinary girls and women doing extraordinary things. This year, gender equality takes center stage, but with a sharp focus placed on the theme, an equal world is an enabled world. It's a message that resonates especially for Somali women who strive to find balance in their homes as well as create better lives and opportunities for their children. More than half of Somalia's population, estimated at 15 million, are women. The Horn of Africa nation also has one of the highest fertility rates in the world, at six children per woman. And in a country where gender inequality is low, it's become increasingly important to make sure more women are in positions of leadership that help women across many communities in Somalia. Amasom, by working with the federal government of Somalia, is taking active steps to invest in the potential of women by removing barriers to equal participation in peace building and in ensuring gender global benchmarks are met. It's a bold plan with a firm purpose promoting gender equality as fundamental as lasting peace. The International Women's Day in Somalia is an important opportunity to build peace and stability in Somalia. And apart from that, because women are aware that at the end of the day, they are the ones who bear the brunt of whatever conflict there are, women are particularly interested in peace. So, they are a galvanizing element for peace building in Somalia. Like many around the world, women in Somalia face various obstacles, preventing them from achieving full and equal rights in comparison to men. And though achieving true balance is a challenge, a growing number of young women are pursuing higher education and continue to challenge in fields where they are alarmingly underrepresented. Brigadier General Zakia Hussein Ahmed is considered a trailblazer in Somalia, challenging the status quo. After a recent promotion, Brigadier General Ahmed is now the highest-ranking female in the Somali police force and the first woman in the country's police history to attain the rank. When I first joined the force, everybody thought I was crazy. Being a young, educated, professional, diaspora female, why would you go and join? a police force in one of the most dangerous cities in, in the world. Somalia is a country deeply rooted in Islam, and culture and tradition often plays a role in how men and women, boys and girls, are perceived. When I became the deputy police commissioner, I had so many young girls that contacted me through various means, social media, stopping me on the street when I'm out doing the public events and stuff, telling me, how can we join the police force? Still, Brigadier General Ahmed knows that without women like her breaking the mold and providing role models for young girls to look up to, the future can sometimes appear to be bleak for teen girls in Somalia who are looking for inspiration and motivation to be part of rebuilding Somalia. They do extremely. I cannot even start talking about the contribution of, of women in general, but specifically for the Somali women. They are not only the backbone of this nation. They are the breadwinners, they are the economists, they are the uh, peacemakers, they are the, the glue that keeps the entire social fabric together. As a police officer then working with, directly with the socials, we keep that glue even stronger by enforcing the laws and, and ensuring that justice prevails. Another activist raising the bar in Somalia is Abdikadir Adi Yare. He's the director of Human Rights and Family Affairs Department in Jubaland State. Yari reiterates that International Women's Day not only places a spotlight on the strides made by Somali women, but offers an opportunity to shift a societal paradigm that better reflects inclusivity for women in general. In mana yaradan, like in the dala badan ayaa jira oo sidii hore hadda ma aha, we soo wanaagsanaanayaan 
هي ده يو ما رأيتي وعيجلنا فرق بدن يو وزارة ده هي هذا لصناعة أكله شقوين بدن على قبتي قبل بدن أسكول شبيه في عن لقب بعيي كوسكي أيا ما رأيتي اللي بدلي ما رأيتي حياة بدن ولا دي رجلي كاريا في عن هذا يشين قبل هي وحد مودا إن هذا وسيد حرة أي دامان أو أي سبب هنا يعني لانك إنستيشن هذا إيه لانك تصالح هذا تصالح يرد على سوق هذا تدخل لبعض هذا يهرب البرلمان كجبلان تردي قبل هيك جري على جرنا يا وي وي يرد لكن هذا لبعض دور شدة دمبي قبله هو ترد على أدي أدي أي أفرع بات واجه روح هاي سدح ما أفرع لكن هذا ترد قبلها we want to see more females managing offices, managing departments, managing stations because that will make the, the society more eager to be working with the police because as you know women are seen as neutral when it comes to conflict. When you have a police station commander as a woman, you are more likely to get a better relationship with the public, you have more uh, likelihood of getting better information from the public and this is the kind of you know, uh, ethos we want to encourage within the police force. We we want to move away from being a force to being a service, and women are very crucial in that role. It reminds us of our commitment. A large part of Amazon's strategic priority lies in gender mainstreaming and women's protection and participation. Amazon initiatives, in partnership with the federal government of Somalia, realize the country's adoption of a national gender policy aimed at furthering gender inclusion in its peace and state-building processes. Empowering women really is half the way gone in the peace-building and the peace uh, uh, consolidation. So, in the case of Somalia, where we still are at war, a war, in the case of Somalia, where extremism and intolerance becomes uh, is becoming a norm by these extremist groups, women can preach solidarity, can preach understanding, and women can inspire those values. I've designed three different programs on three different levels. So you have the senior leadership program where we train and, and encourage and breed new leadership because I'm, I'm the first, but I'm not to, I don't want to be the last. I want other women to take over after me. So I'm starting programs where we can actually start nurturing the, the future leaders of, of, of this uh, police force. <laughs> Somalia is currently reviewing its constitution ahead of a general election planned for the coming year. The federal government is also running an outreach campaign that would establish a system of representation that's inclusive of all citizens, based on the one person, one vote principle. In May 2019, Amazon brought together women drawn from various civil society organizations across Somalia. The gathering held in Mogadishu was aimed at engaging women on how they can make meaningful contribution to the ongoing constitutional review process in the country. It was very important for them to know about it, to know uh, uh, some of the gender provisions that we're discussing, women rights in terms of uh, participation, uh, in terms of uh, equality and access to opportunities. Um, so they were very happy to learn about that and they were very, they are also very eager to contribute to make sure that um, uh, women representation, particularly in the political process, uh, will be uh, written in the constitution and not limited to 30%. They really believe in having a 50% representation, um, so they are aware of their role and they are uh, ready to support the government of Somalia. Representatives from Somalia's Ministry of Constitutional Affairs took the opportunity to enlighten various youth groups, women associations and the media on the topics of power and resource sharing, federalism, elections and the justice system. In the story of the review, we have a lot of people who 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 have a
Ilham Mohamed Hassan works with women's groups within local communities and saw the forum as a way to create inroads into Somali's judicial system. Under Amazon's Gender and Protection Strategy is a promotion of dialogue for gender equality among the youth. Anab Muhammad Ali, a recent graduate student and beneficiary of the program, says she now has a better grasp on how she can change her future and those in her community. One first time in the year, I had a door to have 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 First time I eat in an arcohook in a Kulaya wooden gig in an I give her so many yet gender balance in a Dumerk, Makilofirso in a boss win or Gagiran Bushes. Hirshabele State in south central Somalia has witnessed the number of women in politics rise. Aisha Khalif Mohammed is a director in the Ministry of Human Rights and Family Affairs and further plans to pursue a career in politics at the topmost level. أنا سأقول نهاية قبل هذا هذا استديا سومالي وقبسنت إمام القبلة دي إلى شن إيه إن بنتلان سوماليلان إيو كفر قلب جبلان إيهير شبيل أنا قبل أنك تسنا وحيث مين عين إن درين لحد ل إيو كل يرجلنا إن هوين كإن سياسة دك خيب نخدان وحن أقول نهاية إن هذا إن سوماليا إن جار أهان هير شبيل إن وحن لين نهاية قبل أجوهريس أو مير إيه وسوماليا إن سكان دين سوماليا إن هير شبيل لازم يصير رولكس سيدو كليتو إن برلمان ك. وهرشبيلة وحكوجرو إن 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 سبيكر أوف بارلمان تيجا كان لبعض وحواي جبر واي أفاين كبارلمان ك والله بعد وجبر. Economic empowerment is equally central to women being able to actively contribute to their households, as described by Faduna Adan Katella, an activist among women in rural areas. وحبضن بانو قوانا هوين هوين كهرمرن بانو سمينة وحالها برامجه وحان قصمينة تربضن ومشاريع يرى دي أرني وفرش حنا ذا يو أدي كذا هوين دك وحياة وبهين بعيد هوين وحان قصمينة هادي وحان الله سكرنا قوي ما الله سكرنا وحان قصمينة فرنجيران ودي أرني وحان ودي أرني ملا فرنوينا وحان ودي أرني ملا إعلان كل وصار ملا هوين كل وقرحيه مالا بدن أو هوين كلا وعتن إيشان لا وعتن إيشان لا وعتن إيشان طبعا طبعا ساعة ملا يلو سمين وأي شركة دي ركزت مستن شركة ده عصو قبلها أي بيل كده كرنا سدان ااا مكان واحد أي سمستن واحد سمستن أيو طلع أيو تاني سمستن وعشان لحد حافظ اللي نسمي لحد حافظ اللي عاد بحنا بيش بحنا أنا وبحنا بحنا قف قصو بحنا العطوة السكينة قف بعد السينا هذا أنا سفر كده قف بعد السينا مالن بقف بالسين لعبت أورتي ولعب بدلة أمالن بقف للسين سادرت قف أبوك قف صنعي. Although it's been a slow and agonizing journey, some signs of progress are starting to emerge. We are having a Somali that is recovering from the effects of a state collapse. So for all these reasons, women are central to the society of Somalia. Women are important. If we succeed using everything we have to put a woman in the right position, to transfer education, training, skills, the Somali society will be much more productive. Somali society will be able to reconcile more easily. And for all these things, women in Somalia do matter. Somalia will join in a worldwide movement to raise awareness about systematic bias and suppression of women, a move intended to strike a blow for equality 
and encourage young girls in Somalia today to strive to become better leaders.